Hi, it's Carl Thompson here from StorageCraft. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to manually install Shadow Protect SPX on Server Core. So obviously using Shadow Control, you could do a push install. Today, I'm just gonna guide you through doing a manual install. So the first thing is um, on the console here I've logged in, I'm just going to create a temporary directory on C drive. The next thing I'm going to do is map a network drive over to a machine that has the SPX installer on it. So I'm just uh, authenticating to a, another Windows share here. Um, and then I'm going to copy the MSI installer onto the um, local directory. So I'm actually just going to paste in here the path. Let's do a next copy and then we're going to go and execute that installer. So I'm actually just showing you here on the StorageCraft support website under the SPX user guide, I'm just scrolling down and there's a section here on the Windows silent install. So it's really simple, I'm just gonna basically follow this MSI exec command uh, to run that executable that I've got on the temporary directory. So really straightforward, just execute that. Um, just bear in mind that this will initiate a reboot, so bearing in mind if, um, you know, obviously plan when you do that install. So that's installed already, it's very uh, straightforward. Um, server call is going to reboot. Uh, I'm then going to log in and just show you, I guess, a couple of other key sort of tips um, for your setup. So just again, authenticating here. Now, what I'm going to do is just show you net start that the SPX service is running. So we can see that that has uh, loaded up automatically already, which is great. Um, and then really the next step is to enable the remote access. So again, jumping back into the user guide and just scrolling down a bit further here, there is a section here. Um, actually, there we go. It's just showing you on uh, deploying via MSI's group policy would be another option for core, but here it's talking about enabling remote management. So what we want to do is basically, you can see here the command I'm running off the user guide, enabling that port that just enables me to connect to SPX from another Windows GUI um, to uh, you know control that agent. Additionally, I'm just going to add in here a NetSH command for the firewall to open up that port as well. But basically at this point I'm done. Um, I'm just checking here my IP address. And what we'll do is I'll open up the SPX GUI on another machine, click on the remote monitor, and I'm gonna go in here and add in that uh, IP address. And you can see there that same, that default port number I went with, and go save. And we can see there it's connected straight away. So I can obviously uh, double click into that. I need to authenticate to that uh, server core. Just putting in my credentials and go connect. So obviously at this point I can activate um, and then go and configure a backup job. Great, well it's a very straightforward uh, tutorial today. Thanks for your time. Hopefully this is helpful for someone.